Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the basement. We're gonna be doing some scenery work today on the upper level again. This section is not quite finished. We've got a pop-up hole just over here. So let's go ahead and look at it. I'm gonna tell you what my plan is. So here's the upper level of the layout. Last big project that we did up here together was the farmhouse scene. And then I've recently completed the last mountain module here. We've got the road that goes around. We put the H&H mill over there. Uh, or a feed and supply store rather over there. We continued the road over, but we've got this whole, this green area here. That's actually a pop-up. So when I need to do work on the layout, I can come up and pop that up, but it's a big open space. What I want to do is add a trailer park scene to this upper level. It's going to go right there. So if we come back over here, I've got two of the Woodland Scenics trailers here. The double wide is the green one and that one is currently back ordered. So I was able to pick these two up for now. And I didn't want to overcrowd the space, but I think I can easily fit three in that area. The thing is, we can't work on that because that's the pop-up itself. So I'm going to have to take the pop-up out and work on it, you know, on the workbench and then come in and try to blend the scenery in without that piece being there because I can't stand on this section of the layout. So it's gonna be a bit more of a challenge. The other pieces, anything that goes onto that needs to be screwed down or adhered some way to the base so that it doesn't fall over whenever I put the pop-up up, up and down. So just added complexity to this, but it's gonna look really nice when it's done, I think. It'll be a nice finished scene. I did think about adding this trailer park scene over in this area here, this little grassy area between this town and the lake. I decided not to go with that. I have one more company house that I found down here when I was getting the kids layout set up for the holidays. I have this box that of stuff that I ordered a while ago. And I've got this Blair line laser cut house kit. And so I think I'm gonna throw that together over the holiday break and it's going to go in that space there. So don't really have much other real estate for this trailer park scene. So we're going to get it up there and complete this upper level scenery. And we're going to do it today on Christmas Strange and Things. And by today, I mean, in this video, it's probably going to take me a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks to get this done. But we're going to go ahead and pop that pop up piece out and start kind of aligning where we want these trailers to go. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is this piece, just a piece of three quarter inch plywood that I cut out of the top and it's already got ground cover on it. We might have to go up to the shop in the garage and get rid of some of this because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do everything over the top as easily as I want to, but let's just wait and see. So let's go ahead and open these up. All right. So it's not uncommon when you get these things from Woodland Scenics except that piece is broken. So got a piece here that's broken. Piece here that's broken. And then it does come with some lawn chairs, so they're just kind of glued in place with a little sticky tack. Pull those up. There we go. So we can kind of start setting this up. All right, so I'm not exactly sure where this piece is supposed to go. It looks like an electrical hookup and water spout. This might actually just be a totally extra piece. I'm not sure. I might have to stop by a hobby shop and see if I can figure that out. Look at, a, look at another one. Now this piece, this broke off, this goes here. So yeah, there's a little channel for that. And guess what? This is gonna be a rundown little trailer park scene. So if there's pieces broken off like this. It actually isn't the worst thing in the world. But when you buy anything from Woodland Scenics, because there's so many intricate detail parts, it's not uncommon for these pieces to be broken. So just make sure you check, right? Uh, before you buy it, because they are not cheap. This doesn't really bother me. I can easily glue that. We just have to clean it up a little bit. And then we should be able to glue this right back into place. But let's look at some of the details a little bit closer up here. A little extreme on the lighting. Let me bring it down a hair. So you can kind of see you've got like the aluminum roof with some weathering on it. 
propane tank. We've got propane tanks and some weeds growing through on, over by the hitch. Things in the windows. This does light up, so there are lights on the inside. We even have underneath, which you would not see. There's wheels. That's pretty cool. I guess that's in case you wanted to remove the skirting, but you would really never do that. All right, so there's one. And then I always keep these boxes. These do take up a bunch of space. But if you order a Woodland Scenics building, you get a nice box for them also. So I'm going to just put these back in these boxes. And then I have a bunch of them stored under the layout. The reasoning is if you are ever going to have to move these later on, like let's say you have to, you move or you decide to redo a scene and you no longer need that piece and you want to sell it, you're going to want to put them in here because it's going to protect some of those fragile parts. So just a little word of advice there. All right, here is the other one. So no side skirting. So we do see the wheels there, but it's going to be up on blocks. So we've got that detailing. Again, we've got some things in the windows. We've got some tires up on the roofs with a little aerial antenna there. Again, plug and play. We can light this up. So I'm going to go get some plug and play stuff because I have the farmhouse up there. I've got the mill up there. I've got the barn. All those, I believe, have features that light up so I can get the lighting set up and connect it to my town down below so I can actually illuminate that upper area. Now, this trailer comes with a couple extra pieces. So we get a trash can and a little pile of junk. Here is another one of those spouts. So this one is separate, which makes me think the other one was supposed to be separate also. We've got a propane tank that's separate. It's not attached like the one is on the yellow trailer, but it's got the little regulator and hookup. So it's supposed to go somewhere, you know, right there is where it's gonna go. There's a little hole there. You might not be able to see it, but it's gonna go right, right there like that, okay? Awesome, let's get this stuff set up. All right, so we need some dirt for our trailer park scene. So I'm out here by our raised beds and garden area, and I've got a bunch of soil that I pulled up when I did some landscaping over here last summer. We're gonna put another raised bed here, so I just kind of have all this sod here. So what I'm gonna do is just take this garden trowel, break it up, and then I'm just gonna put it in this bucket here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to use a strainer to strain it out once it's dry. The soil is wet, it's been raining here in PA. So I'm gonna just put it in this bucket and then we'll strain it so we can get some nice like sifted soil and that'll go in around that trailer park scene and that'll be the base for the rest of the ground cover that we're gonna so do. So it is really just this simple. You just kind of knock in some of the soil loose out of the roots and then we're gonna, it'll get strained. So if any of those roots, you'll see there's roots and some other stuff that come out in that. That's okay. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna strain it later as well. We're just trying to get as much of that, try to get as much of that as possible. And then once it's dry, it should have a nice lighter brown color to it. And we'll be able to strain it then. All right guys, so we've got the soil in this bucket here and I'm basically taking a strainer, just bought a cheap one online and we're just going to sift this and basically try to get all of the big stuff out. And then we're just gonna be left with some nice silty dry topsoil. So it's sitting in my garage for about two weeks since we collected it from around the greenhouse. So it's pretty well dried out at this point. And so now we're just gonna sift it, get it nice and thin. And then we're gonna put it into one of our scenery bottles, one of the empty containers that we have, and that'll be our soil. And then we can start adding that around the scene. Ta-da. All right, so next thing we have to start figuring out how to uh, fix the trailers to the pop-up top because that's going to be popped up and moved and I don't want the trailer to shift because it'll mess up all the other scenery. So underneath these trailers we've got the wheels there which is pretty cool that they have that detail on there. Now for this yellow trailer it's different because it's got the side skirting. For this one it does not have the side skirting. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a piece of wood. This is a basically a quarter inch plywood scrap that I had. I'm I cut it down to fit right between those wheels and I'm super gluing it in place. Now I'm not sure if that's going to hold or not. The goal is to then put a screw from underneath the pop-up hole through and then into that three or quarter inch plywood. 
Now, I, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna hold. If it doesn't hold, what I'm gonna do is drill a small hole in here and put a screw into the bottom, the plastic base of the trailer. The key is making sure that we don't hit the board that's in there for the LED lights. Now, the wire goes in the back area here, so I'm assuming the board is somewhere towards that back and not right above those wheels, but that's an assumption that I'm making. The only way to figure it out is to pop the whole thing open, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this will hold in place. I also spray painted these black, so that way they blend in a little bit if you can see them. But you'll see, let me flip this so around. So that just fits snug in between those, those wheels, not too much, otherwise it'll break. And I'm taking a thicker super glue and just putting it right along this the edge there with the wheel and the side of that plywood on all sides. And then this is going to be seated down flush with the bottom of the wheel so it doesn't make it doesn't mess up the trailer being level and whatnot. And then I'm just gonna hit with a little zap to speed that up. I'm almost out of this stuff. Luckily I have more downstairs. There we go. And we'll see if this works. All right, so one's on there, it's good. What I've done is I've drilled a hole in the base here for the wires. So you've got this wire harness and lead so I took a, I want to say that's a quarter inch bit, maybe a three eighths inch and drilled holes underneath where the trailers are kind of lined up where the, the wires are going to be. And then what we'll do is we'll feed that down and get it down and out of the way. So once that's in, pull that down, kind of line up exactly where you want it to go. And then I'm going to take a really small drill here, line it up, and drill a pilot hole in, and then we're going to screw it in with, I've got an inch and a quarter. Yep, and it's going to go through this three quarter inch plywood, and then we've got a quarter inch of the other plywood. in here and see if it holds. Ta-da! Just what we wanted to do. All right, so we got some of the soil sifted down here for a little driveway and some parking areas. I used some fine ballast for like a gravel walkways to the doors and then we've got the picnic table and to some patio furniture down there that's just super glued in place we've got some trees in they are glued down into um, some holes that were drilled as well so all of this stuff should be pretty solid and not move we've got a couple other detail parts we're going to add and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the light hub that's going to get attached to this piece so that way when this comes off all i have to do is unplug the power connector that connects from the expanding hub that I have under the town to this, as opposed to unplugging every other wire. There'll just be one wire that needs to get unplugged since the hub will be attached to this piece. So we'll do that, then we're gonna test fit, get it in place. We're gonna do some more of the fencing as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just uh, we're gonna do this side, which is this, it the face is the layout, the front of the layout where people are. So we wanna kind of block that view. Seems silly because we're kind of blocking some detail. So really, I don't have to add a whole lot of detail to the center here because most people aren't even ever going to see it. Uh, but I, I'll know that it's there, so I like to try to make it as realistic as possible. But we're going to block that off with that privacy fence now. We'll hey, guys. That. So it is beginning of January. It is snowing outside. You probably can't see it through the window. So we're going to do some more scenery work here on the trailer park scene. I got my partner in crime, Rosie, here. 
And uh, we're gonna be working on something different today. This kind of just hit me this morning as I was kind of preparing for the day. I was gonna go out to the hobby shop to grab just a couple other little detail parts for our trailer park scene, just to tell a little bit more of a story. And I thought, let's do a tree house. So we're gonna try to scratch build a tree house as part of this project. So let me talk about some of the things that I have uh, ready to go here and what the plan's gonna be. And we're gonna kind of wing this. I'm not like drawing out blueprints or anything. We're just gonna go with the flow. So let me show you what I've got for this side project on this bigger scenery project. What do you think, Rose? Ready to go? So Let's we are up here in the kitchen today. It's a Saturday. I like to do these projects kind of up here. So when family's out shopping, when they get back, I kind of still spend time with them as I work on this as the day goes by. So what we have here are, I've got some board and batten siding. I've got some corrugated aluminum here. That's gonna be for the roof. I've got a dad climbing a ladder. So that's gonna be good for this. I've got some rabbits that, or excuse me, these are groundhogs. Some groundhogs for another part of this scene. I've got another couple pieces of wood here. A, a bigger kind of a square quarter there for the corners on the inside just for support and then window and door trim there. I've got uh, my saw here for the basswood and then I've got some glues, some instant cures and then box of paints and things like that. I've also used these these squares for whenever I build any sort of building. I used these first when I did the roundhouse. Then I needed them again for the diesel shed and they've kind of come in handy for everything else when we do the downtown deco buildings and so forth because they're perfectly square. And so that's what we're gonna be using today as well as we kind of put this together. So it's gonna be a, a really rough just tree house, but we're gonna put it in one of these Woodland Scenics trees. So we're gonna pull one of these out. I'm thinking this one here, because there's some gaps. We're gonna have to pull some of the foliage off and maybe add some more branches, but that is where our tree house is going to go. And then we're gonna do a ladder have it like a treehouse ladder up the side of the tree. And that'll go up on that upper level loop area as well. So I'm gonna kind of get started here and, and try to give you some clips as we go along. I'm not gonna set the tripod up and do, you know, step by step, but uh, kind of bring you along for the process. So let me get started. All right, so quick update. We've got, this is the base. This is just a piece of eighth inch balsa wood I had already. We've got side with the door. We've got the back side here with a long window. And then we've got our two sides that'll go. I've got one, one side's gonna have a window in it, and then we'll have the slope there for the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin to glue these pieces up, and then we'll get the roof uh, measured once it's all glued up so it, it's gonna fit. And we'll get, then we'll probably get it painted, and the roof will probably be black, because it's kind of like an aluminum roof. So then we've gotta figure out how to get it to fit in that tree. So. All right, so okay. I've got, beginning to glue this up small door but it's for kids and just adding some supports on the inside you won't be able to see those I kind of minor them so if you do, can see through the door you can't see the that support so I'm just gonna glue this up and then we're gonna take it out hit it with some white spray paint probably and then we'll get the roof measured too. get that cut spray paint it black for the aluminum and then get that glued on and then we'll figure out how to get it in the tree all right structure is glued up We've got the roof here, so this will get glued onto the top, but we'll have to get it painted a different color for some contrast. But before we do that, we're gonna figure out exactly. Gotta love the dogs, where it's gonna go in that tree. All right, so I've cleared out branches, just kind of cut them off with a razor blade. What I'm gonna do now is, <clears throat> we're gonna, the treehouse is gonna go here in that branch, but it's only got that one support. So what I'm gonna do is take my drill, I'm gonna take my drill here and drill a hole in the tree to add some of these branches that I cut off down here a little lower to add some more support. All right, so added that branch in there. Should give us some more support for the tree house to go into the tree. There's a test fit. What I think I'm gonna do is add a branch coming out of the tree house, kind of like there's a branch going through there and it was built around it. I think that would be pretty cool to see. So we're gonna put a Gonna try to figure out how to make that work. All right, so we've got the treehouse in. I'm working on the rungs here, so I just took some wood, cut it down, and stained it. And then I kept some of the scrap <clears throat> wire from the Woodland Scenics power poles, telephone poles. I'm gonna use that to make a rope ladder for the door. 
So here's the rope ladder. <clears throat> I've got these really small bits that I use with a hand drill. I can't find the hand drill piece, so I've actually put them into my DeWalt. Um, but then I got a smaller one here to clean it out. And I've got the rope here. To get it threaded through without it coming apart, what I do is I put some glue, some of the super glue on there, and then I hit it with the instant cure, and then I just cut it once it gets, because it'll make it like kind of rigid, like that. And then I just take my razor blade and cut it at an angle and that allows it to feed through those rungs. And I've got one broken one, but that's okay because that's kind of realistic. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the bottom of each of these so they hold some in place. And then we'll get it put on our treehouse. So I've got the rope ladder in there. Just the right fit. I did cut the top two rungs off because it was a little long, but that's okay. Return to the tree. You can see that rope ladder there. <clears throat> so All right, so we're up here in the pop-up. Got the trailer park scenes over there on the table for right now. But this is where we're going to put this. I, I'm not putting it on the pop-up because it's it's a little top-heavy. So we've got it over here so you can see it from, you know, when you're standing there looking at the layout. So we've got Dad's climbing the ladder and Treehouse up top. We just have to put a kid up there at some point in time. So I think this project came out pretty well. Let's go ahead and add the finish up the, uh, the trailer park scene and get it on here and see One. the final product. Little final touch up. We broke a little hole in the fence there, and we've got a, our groundhog is sitting there. I completed the fence on the far side, so I think we can pop this back in place and see what the final. So from here, like. you can see the treehouse there. Our dad's down there climbing up. So we've got to get some kids up there, maybe throwing some water balloons down or something. But you can see it just sits right outside of the trailer park scene itself. If we pan around here, you can see we've got that fence all the way across right by where that driveway is. I'd like to add maybe a, a car or something at that little slope. And if we glance down and look underneath that tree, just to the right of that tree, you'll see a groundhog in the shade there. He's hanging out, coming out of the fence. So just another little hidden detail that I like to add in these scenes. If we come in from the backside of the layout here behind the mountain modules, you'll be able to kind of see inside the trailer park. We don't have any people in there, but to be honest with you, if you come back to see where I'm standing, it doesn't really matter of this backdrop unless I take that backdrop out so you can see in that area but this is kind of what it looks like back here so we don't need super details in there because you're not gonna be able to see it all that well from your point of view which if I come back over here you'll be able to see that's kind of the perspective people will have there so really happy with how this turned out got it all wired up the lights do work let me dim the lights so we can check that out So we've got the lights on the house. If we look over, we've got the lights on the sign there at the mill. And we come up top and look in, lights are on there in trailers as well. This nearest trailer, it's tough to see, but in that oval window, you see a TV flickering just so slightly, kind of hard to see, but that is wired up as well. The only thing that is not, I don't have lights on right now, is the barn. I'm gonna check that one out one more time. But yeah, this is looking pretty good, other than the fact that my, my farmer here fell down. We'll All right, it. everybody, so that is that. We've got that scene completed now. I think it looks really good. I do. Uh, that was a fun little project doing that that uh, treehouse today. I, I was able to actually put that together pretty quickly right here at the end of this video. It was kind of a last-minute addition, so really happy with how that all turned out. So another scenery video, video for us. I hope you enjoyed this one. Not too tough of a project, but a great way to fill in that pop-up spot there on the top section of the layout. So hopefully we can get another scenery video in here soon for all of you. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd appreciate that. And leave me a comment what your thoughts are on this little scene. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.